here's a book that I think you should get. No one's talking about it. No one's getting it. Want to know what it is? Stick around. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get one free pressing of your choice when you grade 10 with the code We Love Comics Free Press. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen of the comic book community. My name is Chris, and this is We Love Comics. And if we have learned anything recently with the uh, TV shows and the movie announcements that have happened, and people waiting until an announcement is made before they buy a book. And finding out it's four, five, ten times more expensive as it would have been the day before. I'm trying to show you guys some books that you can get that have potential. Now, this is a book that I talked about years ago. And I want to post this again before any announcements are made. Because I want to try and get people to think about buying a book. Not when it's popular and desirable and everybody wants it. But to get it when nobody cares about it or even has this book's thought in its in their mind. Because then you're going to buy them for a dollar, five dollars, maybe ten dollars. And then if things that I've been told get, ha they happen, you're going to be so glad you bought this book. And you're not one of those people that's rushing to buy a fifty dollar book when you could have bought it at five dollars. So. I had some sources years ago. I don't hear from them very often these days, but that's okay. They gave me plenty of information, and probably about 85% of it, as of now, has already come true. They've told me about Spider-Gwen, Jessica Jones. They told me about things like, for example, um, the She-Hulk, but that hasn't happened yet. You know, not everything is going to work. But I've gotten a lot of inside information that many people mocked me for, and it did take a couple of years, but... Again, if you buy things beforehand, you don't have to worry about it. And if you have to sit on them for a couple of years, who cares? That's what comic book boxes are for. You put them in the comic book box, and you know what? Enjoy reading them or something or collecting them. And if they end up having value, you already have them. So, with that being said, I was told a couple of years ago, and they said that it would take years, that this would be around Phase 4 of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, that... Eventually, they are going to start getting into underworld comics. They're going to talk about the underworld. And that's why uh, the video I said I made the other day, and if you haven't seen it, please do. Check out some of my videos that I've made recently. I've told people, get things like Marvel Spotlight number 5, First Ghost Rider. Now, that's an expensive book already. You, you haven't seen anything yet. I've told people about getting Silver Surfer number 3, the first Mephisto. That is definitely a book. You see that they are now doing the Morbius. Well, there are rumors with the whole Ghost Rider as well. So that's another book. That's um, Werewolf by Night 32. I have three copies. One I'm waiting to get back that I already sent in to get graded. Should be coming back in the next couple of days to a week from now. Holidays slowed everything up again. But um, here's a book that you could find easily under $10.00 that no one's talking about. There's a whole series of these, but I'm going to only show you one. Because there have been rumors that when they get to that underground stuff, they could get into this. Now, keep in mind, there are no guarantees. Things can change. And with any investment, there are risks. So if you're doing it solely for the profit and you're going to be unhappy if something doesn't work, well, then you shouldn't be doing it. I don't care if I lose money on these books because, you know what? I bought them because I like them. And I bought these years ago. So I don't have to worry. So here's the books you want to look for. And I cannot stress this enough. This is the Midnight Sun series. Now there are several of these. They are bagged issues from the 90s. This one is Ghost Rider and Blaze Spirits of Vengeance. Issue number one. Now you can see right here it says part two of six. Which means there were six different comics in the Midnight Suns. So all you have to do is go on eBay and type it in. Now this one, I, mean, I don't even remember what I paid for it. I probably paid maybe $10 for this. But this was signed by Adam, Adam Kubert. 10,000 of these were signed. I got number 634. So there's the seal of authenticity. This has never been opened. It's in the original bag and board. 
but an unsigned copy you could get probably like i said probably find them in the dollar bins so the best time to get a book like i said is when nobody cares about it nobody talks about it nobody wants them the problem is and i've try i try and get people to think in a different level when it comes to people and collectibles or investments usually the people with lots of money want to find a way to make more money and how do they do it by getting people to not think rationally to not research to not buy low and sell high but to use their emotions of oh i need this now you have to have this now limited supply they use your emotions to work against you and you can easily see that with what happened with the silk announcement with the Jessica Drew announcement, with seeing Spider-Gwen in the um, Marvel movie with the um, Edge of Spider- the Spider-Verse movie. This is going to continue because most people do not react to something until other people are doing it. It's basically a form of insecurity in a way, and we won't get all deep and philosophical here. But unfortunately, companies know how to take advantage of people. That's why I tell people all the time, do not have brand loyalty. Always go with what's going to work best for you at that time. Because if you have 100% brand loyalty where you're blind, companies love you. Because then they can give you half, you know what, half rear end stuff, knowing that you'll buy it. Like, I mean, look at sports, for example. Let's say you're a Mets fan. And my condolences if you are. Look how terribly they are managing the Mets team. I'm a Yankee fan. I've been a Yankee fan since I was six years old in 1977. So I've been that way since I was a kid. But look at how the Mets fans are being treated. They're, they're not being treated fairly. And yet the owners aren't doing anything because they know people are going to buy the tickets. People are going to keep buying the products. They'll complain, but they'll keep giving you, keep giving them their money. And that's what they care about. They don't care if you curse them up in a storm. As long as you pay for their product and buy their product, that's what they care about. That's why you saw the arrogance with what was going on with Star Wars, where basically people like Kathleen Kennedy and Ryan Johnson said, you know, to heck with the fans and started insulting people. I mean, God forbid if you were a white male, all of a sudden you were the devil and you were no longer allowed to have an opinion. So I guess this is going to get a little philosophical, but that's all right. Some people like it, and the ones that don't, they would have shut off by now anyway, so I don't do this for them. I do it for you. So my whole point is, let's say they end up doing a Spirits of Vengeance, or let's say these characters and other characters start going in TV shows and movies, and they have something called the Midnight Suns. 95% of the people who will buy this book, for example, will wait until the announcement. Which means you will see it on eBay for 40, 50, 70, 100, 200, and so on. When you could have purchased it for a dollar, five dollars, maybe ten dollars. So you have to rethink the way you do things. Because remember, a smart investor is going to tell you buy low and sell high. Well, when do most people buy something? They buy it when it's on the rise, which means they're not buying it low. And when do people most likely sell things for the most part? Well, when something starts dropping, because then they panic and they say, oh, well, I got to sell it before I lose more profit or lose more of my investment. Instead of realizing that any investments, they fluctuate, they go up and down. Sometimes it could take years. Sometimes it could take a decade or two. But if you do not have the patience to be in this game, you shouldn't be in it. And that's why my channel is called We Love Comics. Because, like I said, I don't even remember what I paid for this. I bought it for so many years ago. I guarantee you it was under $10, and this is a signed book. But I don't care if it never sees the light of day and never becomes anything but a dollar book. I bought it because I liked it. So I don't care. That's why when you see when I do the live unboxings, you notice most of my comics are graded like 4 or 5 and below. Some in the 2 to 3 range. I'm still happy because I don't care. I'm happy with my purchase. And that's what you have to be if you don't want to go crazy and pull out all your hair and be a nervous wreck and be like some of my 
you know, my little trolls and haters that are angry about everything in life. I mean, that's a disappointing way to spend what limited time you have on this planet. So anyway, this was supposed to be a quick little video telling you to get a book. It turned into a little philosophical rant, but some people appreciate it. And if you appreciate that, let me know what book I am showing right here. And in case you can't see it it's, or you don't know what it is, that's Green Lantern number 59, which I showed in one of my DC videos recently. So if you haven't seen that, please check it out. But yes, get these books. Again, I cannot stress enough, you are taking a chance. There is no guarantee things can change. So if you buy a hundred of these books and it ends up it doesn't work out and the movies never get made, well, don't get mad at me. At least be happy that you took the chance at a lower price. And remember, with any kind of investment of speculating, there are risks involved. So I will say that 5,000 times. But you do what you think is right. And if you want to say, well, I got plenty of time on this one. Well, many people have said that. And then a movie or TV show is announced. Good luck trying to get it at a cheap price. Don't be that 85 to 90 percent of the people. Don't be a trend follower, be a trendsetter. So I've told you in advance, I've said this before, I told people to get this years ago. And if anybody followed me on my original channel that remembers me talking about these, verify it in the comments section so people can see that I'm not just making stuff up. But if anything, you're seeing this video before anything has been announced or will be announced. So I'm telling you in advance, go look for this book if you think it's worth taking the chance on. As you can see here, they're telling you which ones are in this. It, and I'll read it. It says Ghost Rider, number 28. Spirits of Vengeance, issue number one, which is this one. Morbius, number one, which is another good book, considering the fact that Morbius is technically going to be in a movie. And I say technically because it hasn't been made yet. Darkhold, number one. Night Stalkers, number one. And Ghost Rider, number 31. So these are all bagged issues. They will all say Midnight Suns. They will all be mega cheap and definitely books to take the chance on and sit and wait and see what happens. So I leave it up to you to make that decision. I'm here to try and help. Uh, if you've seen, I actually have a pretty good track record on books. Not everything has happened yet. But, you know, Marvel is talking about the next 20 years of comic book movies. So we got time. So if you're somebody that's 18, 19, 20 years old and you can buy a book and maybe wait 10, 15, 20 years, you know, you're going to be happy. That's what it's about. So don't forget to wait until the end to see who's today's surprise subscriber shout out. And if you watched until, until this far, tell me what book this is. And that is Shazam number 28, also in one of the DC books. So hit the like button, hit the describe, the describe button. Hit the subscribe button. If you find a describe button, you can hit that as well. Just don't hit your belly button because that's not nice. And we know it's not you. It's not I. It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next video. And is it a smart idea to be smoking in front of somebody with a hot head like that?